What is up guys, it's Mitch or Deity, and today we are going to be looking at the patch for today. So, uh, we have the one minute quick preview and we'll go over all the patch notes. So, Hellion Lua is coming. She looks okay. I mean, uh, it's just weird that she just came out in a more meta where Mort's going to get picked every single game. So, I can't really tell how she's going to be yet. I'll make, I I'll pull her and make a video as to what I think. And then we have Schneel, so we'll see what Schneel does today. This... He looks kind of cool. It's definitely a damage dealer <laughs> based off that. He is a soul weaver. Damage soul weaver? Okay. I mean, maybe it's an attack cleanser. It's never bad to have. We just got Dilla bit buff and she's insane now. So, new Moonlight Theater. No PC client still, of course. Uh, Masquerade Ball. So, that's his side story. Hall of Trials new bus DDR. Okay. Don't really care. <laughs> Go where season ends. And I think that's it. Nope, there's a little bit more. What else we got? Drop ray for Ida and Ray. Sick. <laughs> Both don't pull. <laughs> Maybe get a doctor's bag with powder. And then we have Ran and Schneel. Okay. And we have Halle and Lula with Troublemaker Croza. This is going to be a couple boring weeks of V7, guys. <laughs> this is going to be the most fun. <laughs> this is going to be the most fun couple weeks of V7. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, okay, so let's go look at Schneel then. So what's this guy got? Hopefully PC Client soon. With PC Client, they'll announce a ton of new stuff at the same time. I was hoping that would be this week. Probably next week then. It's got to be soon. They said before the end of the year. And they're not going to do it in December. They're surely the end of the year doesn't mean December. All right, I don't care. All right, let's see a skill three again. Okay, so base stats 117 speed. Not bad for a Soul Weaver. Not bad for a Soul Weaver. Okay, I'm going to skip. Uh, so he has some base effect res and 117 speed. His stats aren't terrible. His bulk stats aren't terrible. I don't know who he shares with, but... Alright, so let's just go to his skills. So skill 2, increase max health by 10%. That's nice. After an enemy uses a skill when an attack is... Infl Wait, what? <laughs> Anti-death dealer ray, baby! <laughs> Dispels all diva from the casters and activates cleanse. Go to activate once every two turns. Cleanse dispels all divas from all allies and grants immunity for one turn before resetting cooldowns of the caster. A That's... Anti-Death Dealer Ray, finally, we got something. So he's like a super anti-poison character. All right, so let's let's see what this looks like. And Cat's going crazy, of course. Anytime I sit down to record a video, he's just like, all right, time to go in look at him. <laughs> that was the highlight moment of the video is my cat sprinting toward me. <laughs> okay, so he cleanses and resets. That's kind of cool. Attacks all enemies, increase the defense of all eyes. That's pretty good. Before increased cover and his caster by the extra 35%, accessible attack inflicts 4,000 fixed damage. Hey, that's he's kind of nice. I gotta say, he's just as an anti death to the ray unit, he's like better than Sharoon, honestly. But again, the opponent will just not click skill three. But even skill two, once you land your thingy, he will. Uh, and whenever you get that poison and it detonates, it's still going to proc him. So he'll still get the, the full cleanse and reset. So I'm guessing the cleanse and reset will stop the uh, venom damage from procking. So this is literally designed for anti death dealer ray. And I've been waiting for this character. If you guys don't, haven't been watching me for that long, I've been waiting this character for like six months. And this is the one. Attacks enemy dispels one debuff from ally. He's a PT. He, he, that's not bad. He he gets rid of a ton of debuffs and dispel a debuff from all allies for ten souls. He's one of the better cleansers. And the reason we haven't got a new cleanser in so long is because it, it has to be a non-attack skill, or it has to be an attack skill. All non-attack skill cleansing is really in a tough spot. So this is a huge, huge character. Just in terms of. Death Dealer Ray countering for regular cleansing. He's not the greatest, but that's pretty nice. Any Venom or Poison damage. Finally, a anti-Death Dealer Ray unit, though. And, of course, their first fight isn't against Death Dealer Ray. <laughs> that's so funny. Hold on, I gotta see this. That's so funny. The first fight's not against Death Dealer Ray. 
<laughs> okay, what's this artifact? After an ally is attacked, when the damage suffered equivalent 25% or more of max health, grants a barrier to the target for two turns. Oh. Barrier strength equivalent 10% of the caster's max. It can only be activated once per turn. It's an extra guardian ice crystals. Oh, brother. All right. Well, we're probably entering a super tank down meta. Because now that Death Dealer Ray is not a issue, because Death Dealer Ray is like one of the most anti turn two style characters in existence, because everything's HP scaling whenever you go turn two, uh, that's really good. I, I think he's pretty solid. I think he's going to be a character that everyone wants to pull just to have an additional Death Dealer Ray counter. I I think if if you're PvP, if you're PvE, he's useless. I don't know. I'd say he's pretty useless. He has okay cleansing. Oh, it's using four in PvE. What poisons? I don't really know. Maybe some kind of Julie poison. I don't know. I don't know for PvE. But uh, overall, pretty good. And the extra survivability artifacts always really nice. So I, I want to see... Oh, there is a Death Array there. I'm just blind. <laughs> nice. I just woke up at a late night. So there's a skill 3. He procs, but then you get the 4,000 fixed damage on everybody. It's pretty nice. That 4k fixed damage. And then if you cleanse, he resets. Right? So if Death Dealer Ray puts his thing, he just gets to rip it again. Pretty sure. I'm, I'm going to watch this whole thing out, and then we'll go onto the stove website and check out what's what's next. So that tried to activate the artifact, but they were unbuffable. So that's the difference is if you're unbuffable, the, the Sneal artifact does nothing for you. So he procs, he removes... Oh my god, <laughs> we finally got it, boys. <laughs> I might actually have a ton of fun with RTA again. I, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, an early Death Dealer Ray pick and your opponent picks Neil, or whatever his name is. That's huge. So Death Dealer Ray, it's going to be a similar idea. Is you're just going to click your skill 2. If you pick Death Dealer Ray and he gets picked into you, you'll click your skill 2. And it activates, and dude, it resets the skill 3. Dude, we got the. This is such a well designed character to counter Death Dealer Ray. This should have been released six months ago. I, it should have been released even sooner than that, but six months ago was the best time this could have been released, and they waited till now to do it. Nice. All right. I want to see. I want to see the interaction of Angel of Light and Angelica landing a Pestilence. Well, it's not going to happen. Angel of Light and Angelica. Everything's dead here. I wanted to see if, if you activate Pestilence, because the Pestilence, it, it lands, and then it procs instantly. Uh, no, it does. It does. It proc. It, it, it did proc right there. Oh, my God. He's super anti-Death to the Ray, then. If you click either skill 3 or skill 2, you're getting cooked. Ooh, baby. <laughs> that is so nice. Holy cow. He's going to allow... Third pick, third pick of him is going to allow you to go into some crazy turn 2 comps, I feel like. I, I don't, I think he's pretty solid. All right, so there it is. That is our Sneal. So that's pretty sick, I gotta say. That's pretty sick. All right, so let's go into the general news. So first up, we have a Mystic Summon Special Pack. We have Ray. We have a November free unequip event. That's all I really care about here. Uh, we have free unequip on the 13th, so next week and the final week of the month. So two different unequip events for the month. And then next up, we've got... <clears throat> just happened oh i'm stupid that's what happened okay we have update content moonlight special pack we have maintenance tonight so be aware there is maintenance uh, notice of app updating for adding new player new login platform i don't know what that is uh november free and equip quiet calamity special mystic pack let me just look at this 500 mystic medals for 50 bucks sick and this one is so if you buy all these, you get some Mologoras, you get some summons. It's 50 bucks a pack, though. Is it, Maybe it's 30. If this is 30 bucks a pack, there's no way this isn't $50, though, right? There's no way this pack isn't 50 bucks. If it's 30 bucks, not that bad value. It's actually insane value. It's got to be 50. 25 leaves and 5 Mologoras, that's a $50 pack for sure. But if you buy multiple of these, you can get this other pack for 10,000 gold spend 100 or 200 bucks and you get another pack for 10k gold that's a value baby oh it's too funny okay so what is the last thing let's just look at the update content here we've got our hellion lua so hellion lua is, she gives uh provoke under skill one which is nice after being attacked by hero increase cover rate as well as by seven percent makes all allies granted challenge counter attack so i feel like 
she seems weird. I don't know. I have no I have no opinion on her. It's so hard to to gauge. Uh, it, it, it's cool having the extra 8% damage of target's max health, but I think that's only for heroes. It cannot be used in PvE, meaning that I don't see it. It's like a potential better General Purgus. Like an updated General Purgus in a time where General Purgus... Or in a time where it just doesn't make a lot of sense to use. I mean, the idea of an AoE provoke at 100% chance with a soul burn sounds really good because you shut down your opponent for one turn. That part's nice. Even if you say your opponent has more and you can't counterattack, getting a guaranteed shutdown of your opponent for an entire turn with a 20 soul soul burn, it sounds good. But past that, I don't really know. Um, even if you're not counterattacking, I feel like just taking that first turn away from your entire opponent on soul burn, it's like a Lua soul burn. It's like original Lua soul burn. You, you um, one turn skill reduction. But the difference is you get speed buff with Lua. With this, you don't get anything besides them hitting her. You'll get CR bonus. But if you don't get the bonus of the challenge counterattack, is that going to make or break her kit? So let's just say, for example, the opponent has more. And I still don't understand the challenge counterattack. I, I still can't. It doesn't make sense in my brain until they release like a preview video of her, which somehow they haven't yet. Uh, until I see the challenge counterattack, I, I just cannot tell with this character. But the whole idea of an AoE provoke forcing them to attack, it sounds good. Um, we don't have a character that does that. And she has provoke in her skill one. So if you build her on counter set, as an example, counter set plus decent effectiveness and full bulk if she re-counters them or well but if they have more you can't counter anyway i have no idea man uh, ideally you wouldn't pick her into more obviously but i just she can't be an early pick she'd be a late draft pick which at that point there's nine thousand characters that work the same so why would you bother picking her versus anything else you could pick there so we have this whole event thing going on you can try heli and lua weird um next up some decent rewards so that's a seven day login it's free. I mean, the two free <laughs> right side charms are looking pretty good there for new accounts. Uh, from here, it's just a bunch of basic stuff from the hard exchange. I guess you get that from earning, yeah, just doing regular content. And then play mission stuff. And then Guild War Pursuit Season Ending, Hollow Trials, New Boss to do the Ray. We have Schneel coming next week. It is next week for Schneel, not this week. So we really have nothing this week, boys. We have the new Lua, I guess. I think she's today, right? Pretty sure she's available as of today. Uh, 11.7, yeah, she's available today, so we'll see. Um, but that's all we got. So if you don't get Lua, you're kind of just grinding, just farming, stocking up stuff to craft some gear. It's going to be it's gonna be a pretty boring week. So um, that's all I got for this video. Thank you for watching. The winner, I, I think Sneel looks good. He's, he's the perfect anti-Death of the Ray character. They finally designed the character that pretty much 100% counters them. Because if Death Through the Ray S1s, it procs Neil. And if it lands to sleep, if he has, well, no, if he lands to sleep, he wouldn't land the Venom. So never mind. The S1's still safe. The S2, though, is going to proc Neil every time a Venom character would hit. So I don't know if Death Through the Ray could overload him or not. That's the question. Usually, Death Through the Ray can just overload whatever it's fighting. This is a toss-up, but it looks good on paper. So I am excited for that. Thank you for watching. It's been Metro Didi, and I will see you all... I don't know when. Sometime. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Bye.